It was Sunday and work was pretty much crowded and hectic. Emily has been working as a server for two weeks in Red Hook Seafood and Bar in San Antonio, and the service that day was taking longer than it normally did. The area where Emily worked was entirely full of diners. A certain man was being very kind to her. As she was going through from table to table, apologizing to people about the delay, there was specifically one man who was very pleasant and polite towards her. He talked to Emily and made it very clear that he understands the restaurant's business because he also worked as a waiter before. So Emily appreciated his gesture and she thanked him for his kindness and empathy. More time was passing by. The man was very impatient and couldn't wait anymore to get his order. But instead of complaining, surprisingly enough, he did the exact opposite. A few moments later, he asked for his drinks order to be canceled. He asked then for the check, and he went out on his way. It wasn't until he was gone that Emily noticed that the man left her a tip. It wasn't the normal amount of money she used to get from customers. It was instead a $2.000 tip, with a note on the side that says, Merry Christmas, keep working hard. The kind gesture was very surprising. Emily was a working mother of two kids. They are both two and five months old. So as she saw the receipt, she was very ecstatic and delightful and all they could think about was how much she could with that money and what will she buy to her children so they can have the perfect and most joyful Christmas together. Emily was really surprised. She even cried out of joy. She looked around to see if he is still in the restaurant, but he had left already left. Emily recalled that when she saw the tip, the first thing that came up to her mind was her children and how now she is going to be able to buy them whatever they need. Things didn't quite go right when the manager knew what was going on. Unfortunately, things took a different turn and Emily's hopes and dreams didn't go as planned. When the other's workers proceed to congratulate her, her boss came up to her and informed some terrible news. He told her strictly that she can't accept a tip as big as this one because she was never going to be able to get it. The director explained that the restaurant was never allowed to accept tips over $500. However, her co-workers suggested breaking the tip down into four separate payments of $500. Her boss didn't like the idea and he turned it down. It was strange and blurry to them why he rejected this proposition. The generous man called up later and asked the staff why his tip wasn't being processed and why Emily didn't take it yet. The man confirmed that the charitable tip was given by him and he kept asking why the money is not being taken out yet because he had it in his account. Emily told him that it was impossible to start the process. Emily and her family were going through a lot that same year it was such a difficult year for Emily and her family. She was praying for a miracle to happen, but the whole experience got her feeling very downhearted and discouraged. Because of the sanitary crisis of COVID, Emily was struggling to find a decent job so she can support her family since her boyfriend lost his job and got laid off because of the situation. Therefore, she was hoping that something like this would happen to her, but she can't do anything about it now. Sometimes after the restaurant has been contacted for some details, Emily's story, but they didn't get any answers yet. We can only hope that she was able to take her well-earned dollar 2.000 tip with her eventually because she deserved it. And it would really give her and her family the most joyful Christmas that she ever had.